I love watching cows whenever I pull in and there's wildlife. It's pretty Not awesome. Good. We are coming back to Tampa area where we're staying and it's about to get dark. So there is never a good idea getting to a campground when it's dark. We're trying to avoid that. I think we only did that once. Now we got in the middle of the night to Walmart and Cabela's. That's a whole different story. But meanwhile, you could stay at the truck stops. But Florida has these weird rules. They have this amazing designated area just for RVs. But you cannot stay there longer than three hours. So that's totally a bummer. But there is a lot of state parks around that you could find for $20, $30. And there is actually some boondocking. So we found the free spot for today. And that's where we're going to stay tonight. So this is managed by Wildlife Management Area. I, I don't know. It's, it's Lake Panasofki or something that I can't even pronounce. But anyway, it's like a fish and wildlife type of deal. Uh, and there's nobody here. Nobody but a bunch of cows. So that's amazing. When you pull in, there is a thing where you sign in, but that was taped off, so you could just register online and you just keep your email as a confirmation. That's all you have to do. And the bugs are biting. Yeah, the bugs are starting to bite, but look around. Isn't this gorgeous? Look, there is like nobody here. And there is some kind of lake, so we're gonna try fishing. We had a good night's sleep and we're just going on a little walk right now and it's pretty cool. It's really hot actually. But what's cool about it that there's all kinds of birds uh, singing or whatever they do. Bugs butterflies. Bugs, butterflies. Yes, butterflies. birds do sing. Birds sing. Especially a red shoulder hawk. I didn't catch that, but uh, he was this thing is the best. Singing. Like it screams like crazy and then if you scream back it will uh, it copycats you, so Maybe we'll catch it again. Yeah, it's a, it's a really awesome piece of land for sure. And there's like nobody here. There's two cars that kind of drove in and left today, but that was it. Florida secret. Okay, so summers in Florida, they get extremely hot. So whenever we go to the beach, now we're definitely in need of some kind of shade. A couple years ago, we were on the beach and I seen this umbrella slash tent. It's called Cool Cabanas. Just like this, Cool Cabanas. And uh, we decided to order one. So it just came today. So I'm... Uh, as surprised as you are, so let's open this up and look what it looks like. This is not sponsored and this is just something we need, uh, so we'll do a review on the beach. But I'm so excited about this, I just wanted to show you. It comes in a cool little case up there, you can carry it. I suppose you can throw it over your shoulder. 
That's pretty nice. I like that color. I have no idea how it goes, but you know, guys, they never read directions. So that would be me. No idea. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to try this later and get back to you. All right, so we already set this up before. Uh, it's super easy. Just like take this out first. That's pretty much what it takes to set up this cabana. Cabanas.com. All right, so the beach has been good to me. Mojito has been good to me. But it's time to take this tent down. Super easy, let me show you. Just take these pockets of sand, dump it out, just like so. Both of these came out at the same time, but this one typically stays in the sand. You just pull it out. Get it in here. And just like that, we're good to go.